So Orlando is Furioso, which is what Michael Gao has decided to put this pasticcio together around that canon, that great, great work. Extraordinary piece of, of literature. Um, of course, it has a history of being part of the pasticcio um, canon. I've played a lot of those pieces, the, the Vivaldi, the um, handle, but it's going to be really exciting to put it together as an Australian production. He's put it into a contemporary context that makes it his own work so that this it works as, as a 21st century concept, as I was referring to in an Australian 21st century context. So yes, he's made it his own, which is what composers and librettists have done since time immemorial. Literally, he's using that Ariosto, and then he's rearranged it. And some of the emails that I've seen from Alan Curtis have literally, they're, it's, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Just a tiny tweak to the wording of a phrase. And Alan has said, ah, could you maybe try it like this? Literally changing a syllable, because then that will sit with the music. That will then sit on a, an inflection or an important chord of the music. And when I was reading those, um, those emails that were sent through to me articulating that, I just, yet again, was thinking, what a master. Alan Curtis, what a genius. And I don't use that word often because, let's face it, there are very few around. Absolute genius of that craft. We're very fortunate to have had his input. From the 17th and 18th century, there were really very... Um, pertinent thought through ideas of what we call affect. So various different key colours, different um, kind of textures, different chords, different structures, literally told the listener, ah, this is what that mood's going to be. Everything evoked a particular mood or a sound or a colour. You're putting this little stress or huge stress or pulling away on very important parts of the music and the well, the text articulates that, and that's therefore how we play um, those phrases of the music. So they literally work together. If you removed the words, you'd be able to hear the idea and the sound and the emotional intent just with the music. So, and conversely, if you were narrating the text, of course, you would know what that meant. But the music actually really puts you into that space.